A weight of 75 pounds is resting on the surface inclined at an angle of 25 degrees to the ground. Find the components of the weight parallel and perpendicular to the surface. So the first thing you want to do, you want to model the situation by making a drawing. Okay. So we're going to be making a drawing of the ground level and the surface level relative to the ground. As you can see, it will have an angle of elevation to it. Okay, and this angle is the angle of inclination of 25 degrees. Okay, so there's this angle of inclination. This is where the surface level meets the ground level. This is the ground level, the horizontal line. So we can attach, we can attach the uh, weight here. Okay, we're going to attach the weight here in the very end. And basically what happens <coughs> is that in order to understand what the components of weight parallel and perpendicular to the surface is, you have to understand what perpendicular is. So obviously this side of this triangle is not going to be perpendicular to this surface, right? Because this is a surface. So perpendicular means that there will be a right angle made with the surface and uh, the height, but this is not. This is a vertical height, not a slant height, right? You you need to make a height such that it is perpendicular to the surface, because right now what I see is a right angle being here, because this is the vertical and this is the ground level. So we need another triangle. Okay, we need another triangle that will look like this. Okay not the best drawing how about I make it perpendicular like this okay now as you can see there is perpendicular relationship here okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna paint this uh, triangle larger so that you will get to see so we have we have this this is just a larger snap snapshot of this triangle okay This is just a larger snapshot of this triangle, okay? It's not the best looking triangle, but you get the idea. So basically, we're talking about a right angle being here, okay? And what's going on is the force, the, the weight that's being talked about of 75 pounds is going to be perpendicular to the ground level always right the weight is perpendicular it's coming down right the weight is the force basically uh, exerted by the object that's on the ground or, or on the building on the inclined surface it's always going to be vertical right it's going to be pointing down so this is the weight this is the weight vector we can treat it as a vector which will be equal to 75 right 75 pounds okay and keep in mind that this is the magnitude of the vector be sure you understand that this is the length of this vector right so if we make this a vector from the starting point down the magnitude of it the length of this line segment from the starting point to the ultimate point will be 75 right that corresponds to the 75 pounds okay now that we got that we're asked to find the components of this uh, weight vector which are respective components parallel to the surface which is this component we can name it uh, w1 and the second component is going to be W2, which is going to be perpendicular to the surface, right? Because this is the surface, and this is the perpendicular one, right? So we need to find these two components knowing the uh, magnitude of the uh, weight, which is 75 pounds. Okay. So how do we do that? We're going to use uh, trigonometry. The next thing that you should notice is that these two triangles, the smaller one and the parent one, the largest one, they are similar. And why are they similar? Because 
they have the same 90 degree angle, 90 and 90, right? Big one has a 90, the smaller one has a 90. And also both of these triangles, this big one and the small one, share the same angle, right? This angle, this angle measure is shared, right? It's the same area. Thus, these two triangles are similar, right? And we know that the corresponding angle measures of similar triangles are congruent, right? The co corresponding angle measures are the same. So you know that the corresponding angle measure of 25 in this smaller triangle must be this small one, right? The, the smallest angle here. So you know that this has got to be 25 degrees as a result in degrees. In order to relate the W1 with the W here, we need to use the sine, right? Because this is the opposite side to the 25 divided by the hypotenuse, right? This is the hypotenuse because it's the opposite side of the 90 degree angle. Thus, we know that sine of 25 is equal to opposite divided by the magnitude hypotenuse. Okay, so we know that, and cosine of 25 is the adjacent, which is W2, divided by the hypotenuse. Okay, so now that we have that, we can solve for the components, right? So that means W1 is essentially going to be what? Sine of 25 times the weight, right, which is 75 pounds. And the W2 is going to be the cosine of 25 times the same thing, the 75 pounds, right, the magnitude of the uh, weight vector. So that, thus, if you do this correctly, the first one should give you about 32, 32.0 pounds. And this is going to be the component parallel. So if you do this right, you should get about 68.0 pounds. Okay, and this will be perpendicular component to the surface. So thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.